Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> Lindsay's helping me film this today, so shout out to my camera woman. Okay, so as you come in, you see, hello, this is a little painting from my grandpa, um, and then just a little place where I put my keys, my headphones, Lindsay's purse for when she comes in, and also, this apartment would literally be nothing without Carrie Harlow of Messy by Design. She's going to be making a blog post on Messy by Design saying where all of the little bits and pieces are from. So if I don't state it, it'll probably be on the blog, okay? So I'll link that down below. Okay, anyways, let's get started. Here I have a vase with some fake flowers, and this is just my kitchen. It's a nice little you know, light blue backsplash. I have all artwork from subscribers up here who have sent stuff to my P.O. box and whatnot. If you guys saw my last apartment tour, I had an office with all of your art in there and now I have like less wall space in here so I put it all up there. Um, but yeah, what else? A kitchen, that's what I have. And then <laughs> this is my little altar space. This is where I do my meditation and stuff and this is where I keep all of my crystals. Um, and yeah, there's definitely a lot of them in here. <laughs> But yeah, it's a pretty hefty collection now, and I love how pretty they look on this little thing. Um, and then I keep Larry's little happy hippie leash here, as well as my Stay Smiling hat. I'll link that on the screen if you want to go and get it. That's like my favorite piece of merch that I think I've made. Um, and then yeah, I just have a bunch of little knickknacks. I have like a sage stick, and then in here I just have some loose sage. And, you know, just a bunch of little things, some chakra candles down here, Larry's baby teeth. <laughs> I'm so weird for keeping them. Hello, Larry. <laughs> yeah, this is Larry, by the way. This is my little pupper. Um, yeah, my meditation pillow and just a bunch of stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Also, we have, like, this runner rug that goes through my whole, like, hallway. Um, and then on the entryway as well, you have the bathroom. So if you're ever a guest in my, in my house, then this is where it is, so you know. So this is us. I also have some artwork in here that didn't make it up on that wall because it kind of went with the theme. So somebody sent this to my P.O. box um, and then I framed it and put it up there. Somebody sent me this and like hand painted that which is just so beautiful. Um, and then I have these tiles as well. I also have my perfume collection. This is literally the only perfume that I actually use though. It's Pavardi from the Goddess line and it's fucking incredible. You should get it. These are all of my go-to like skincare items that I keep for grabs right here. Somebody sent me this as well, this little artwork piece. Life was rough today. And yeah, I also have this shelving system with everything in here, all of my skincare, body products, all that junk, you know? Um, okay, let's pop on out, my woman. So this is my eating quarters, I guess. Um, this is my kitchen table, which used to be our patio table when Lindsay and I lived together. Um, and it just has this little piece of wood and a fake plant on there. These like bird pillows, so spicy and cute. And then over here I have some other artwork from you guys. These are like my favorite, favorite pieces. Like sorry for picking favorites, but I mean these are incredible. Look at that, oh, just wow. Wowie wow. Shout out to Montana who sent me this and then Ray who sent me this, you guys are great. Um, and then I have a little spice rack here. I would have never thought to put this in my home. Larry just yawned, but um, my interior designer, Carrie, decided to put that here and I think it looks great. In here I just have sunglasses and then I just have incense in here. And then I just have all of my books over here and a dead plant. That looks ugly as shit, Aww. honestly, what can you do? One of you sent me this as well, so that's super cute. Um, and then I just have all of my journals up here for writing purposes. And that is that. <laughs> And then here I have, you know, some just, yeah, uh, this was like an air conditioning unit and she put like fabric over it, which I think makes it look a lot better now. These fake plants hanging down as well really add to the, the look. And then I just have some random little like Free People magazine golf book that I got at um, Camp Flogna this weekend. Another golf wing book. And this is just all on top of like a dusty little, little seat, little seat right here. And then this is my living room. And this is definitely like my favorite part of my apartment for sure. I think I'm gonna close these blinds so we can get our, our lighting on point. I'm not 100% sure where the dresser is from, but I use this as like a dresser slash TV stand. All of my t-shirts are in here. Literally every single one of these drawers is filled up with t-shirts. I definitely have a problem. Um, and then this is my TV. It's a TCL Roku TV. And if you don't like cable, just get one of these. It's like the best thing ever. It's just like Netflix, Amazon Video, all of the things. Amazing. But can we talk about this? 
Like, are you freaking kidding me? Every single time I look at this wall, I think, wow, like, I live here, you know? Carrie killed it on this thing. They installed these shelves up here. These are all fake plants, so I don't have to get up there to water any of them. Um, and then I have like a little hanging terrarium. We got Marilyn Monroe back here. This Luna little phases of the moon thing that I got from Maddie. Um, one of you sent me this stitch that I actually hot glued inside of like this empty dream catcher type thing. And then we just got some tassels hanging, some notes from the universe, some little plants, this beautiful butterfly thing. Um, a quote from the Dalai Lama, my ukulele, <laughs> just all of the things. Got a little dream catcher. Yeah, I got some pillows if anybody's like sitting on the floor and wants to hang out and grab a pillow. The rugs are also super awesome. I love this. I don't know where either of them are from, so I'm gonna have to depend on Carrie for that answer. But yeah, and then these are the only plants that are actually real. And you can tell I'm actually kind of killing this one right now because I think I've been overwatering it, so I'm waiting for it to come back to life. But this is real, this is real. This is a real one. And then this is my little couch right here where I just, I sit, I reflect on life, I hang out with my son, you know? We just really have a lot of bonding. What's in your mouth right now, Bubba? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Larry's this favorite spot. That's literally his favorite spot. Larry! He matches with the pillows so well. You look gorgeous today. <laughs> As you can see, um, my dog likes to sit on my desk. He always does this when I'm like hanging out and doing work right here. He's <laughs> insane. I really don't know. He just crosses over from the couch. As you can see, like we have to make use of the small space in here. So we just put the desk back to back and then separated it with like this little piece of jean fabric-ish, which is really nice. I love the way that she made use of the space, you know? Also, if you guys have seen this desk previously, she like glued all of this material in here and kind of like paper mache it down to make it look like literally a new desk and it matches with the seat of this now and yeah it's like this on the sides as well it's just so sick i love how she like revamped the desk and i repainted it as well because it was kind of banged up me and Lindsay got this from the miller's training post in our first apartment actually but yeah, okay, moving on to these types of things. Um, this is my bandana collection. I wear bandanas excessively, so this is all of my various colored ones. <laughs> but yeah, and my two purses. I really only do have two purses. Those are the only ones that I use. Black one, brown one, what more could you need? And then this is Marley. This is my little sock monkey baby. He just kind of hangs out here and he has his little flower crown on. He's really stunning, ready actually. Ready for Coachella. He's ready for Coachella, yes. And then over here is my entire record collection and my record player. Um, this is a new mark, and it's just from Amoeba Music. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or something. Um, and yeah, these are all of my various little albums and whatnot. And then I have an additional crate over here as well for um, just the additional ones. I had to pick up my son because he's being a little wild. And then I have my trunk, and this is just where I keep extra linens, pillows, blankets, all of the things, truly. <laughs> and then this is like my filming equipment over here, Larry's crate, and then this whole entire wall of just music inspirations. So starting at the top, we got John Lennon, and then we got Tyler the Creator, Mod Sun, Erica Badu, Nora Jones, James Taylor, and then Jimi Hendrix down there at the bottom. And yeah, Larry likes to hang out underneath all of his inspirations at times. And here we have my bed. Huh. Wow, what a comfy bed, folks. I have absolutely no idea where my bedding is from in any way, shape, or form, but it's definitely like a lot of layers to it. It has like a quilt over it and then an additional quilt underneath. Also above this, this is the background of most of my videos, actually. She said, you mustn't forget that everything is possible. No dreamer is ever too small, and darling, no dream is ever too big. And then I just have some hanging plants up there. Those are all fake as well some lanterns, um, some dream catchers. Over there I just have a little hanging side table with some books that I'm reading underneath it. And then over here I have my laptop and you know some journals just for some quick writing, you know? Also underneath my actual bed, this bed frame is from Ikea and it has drawers underneath, which is super dope. And then I have these two little bench chairs at the bottom and we totally forgot about this whole wall over here and my right ladies so this is a grateful dead poster this is one of the few posters that i actually kept from my various apartments because i just love it the yellow is amazing and then i have all of my dream catcher collection basically on this wall i also have this stay smiling sign that i got from maddie um, for one of my birthdays and then in here is where i keep my entire makeup collection so it's pretty hefty um, just pretty 
pretty large, pretty various things in there. Really love it. And also there's like a piece of fabric through there so you don't even see it, which is really nice. I like that. And then up here I just have literally a bunch of knickknacks. <laughs> Alex gave me this weird munchkin thing. Alex also gave me this other weird munchkin thing. Just really weird gifts from Alex Weiss, you know? Gotta love her. I have another mirror here <laughs> because this is my main like full length outfits mirror that I like to, you know, do stuff in. Um, and then in here I actually have all of my jewelry which is really nice and convenient. Space savers, you know? That's the best thing for me because I have a lot of things. <laughs> but yeah, that's my whole jewelry collection and whatnot. So as you're walking into my closet, you see all of my little various badges from YouTube things that I've been to and this random belt too. But yeah, that's where I keep all my badges, all of my hats, my cleaning supplies is right here, as well as my steamer, my hula hoops, my hamper. This entire thing is all sweatshirts until up at the top here, which is just scarves. And then up there is just my old bedspread, which I don't even know why it's crammed up there, but who knows? And then I have my hats right here as well. I have two racks of them. Um, and then this is all stuff that I have to haul from this yellow thing over. So it's kind of crammed right now, but I keep all of my dresses and then it goes into kind of like longer little play suits um and then you know overalls rompers more dresses to skirts to pants to short skirts to body suits to crop tops to off the shoulder shirts to regular tops to long sleeve tops to sweaters to jackets and all of these various things which i literally never wear any of these because it is 90 degrees in november right now in la but i want to wear all of you and i'm gonna be wearing them when i go home to georgia soon so that's gonna be nice um, what else do you need to know about the closet? These used to be my bedside tables, my little nightstands, and now they serve as baby dressers for like panties and socks and things. If you guys are wondering like, hey Megan, where did my art go? I have various artwork back here that I'm gonna be hanging on the walls in here on any extra space that I have because in my main area, I'm literally out of space. And I'm seeing this poster that I forgot to mention that I wanna talk about, so we're gonna head out of here. My body is a temple and I'm the god it was built for. And that's a quote from Savannah Brown. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. You guys should definitely go and check her out. She makes awesome, awesome slam poetry, regular to spoken word poetry as well. And she's just great. And I'm like looking around now being like, did I finish up everything? Is it really so. over? I would just like to say thank you so much for coming to see my humble abode today and for just caring, you know? It's nice to be able to like share my space with you guys, my various spaces that I've lived over the years. I definitely have a bunch of various room tours, so I'll link all of those down below in my other apartment tour from where I lived before this. And yeah, let's just head on out. Like I said, thank you so much for coming. I love you guys, and if you liked this video, then give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, I forgot to mention this. It covers up an ugly mechanical box. And then, of course, the one love sign. When you leave, you have to one say, love. one love. You gotta say it like that. Like one that. love. <laughs> so, one love. Leave that in the comments below. Yeah, please do, actually. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you soon. Okay, <laughs> stay smiling. Bye.